Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, guys, we have another tactic to check out today. Um, today's basically non-tense because they released Rashka, and to be honest, I've never seen people use uh, the Turkish League teams once, which I don't blame them for because they don't have a bunch of crazy players, so you'd have to get like specific dudes to get chemistry links, all that kind of stuff, right? So um, for today, we're going to have the tactic video for the 4-2-3-1. I've had this saved just in case a day like today was released where it's basically non-tent, right? Um, so with this 4-2-3-1 that we are going to be doing a review for today, um, it is going to be from, <clears throat> excuse me, a Twitter post uh, from the homie campaign zone, right? So it's going to be this one right here. Um, so we'll leave a link to the original tweets down below, so be sure to check it out. But the tactic basically lines up like this, right? And we'll talk about how it actually performs in game uh, with some highlights afterwards. So defense balance width 42, 64 for depth, build up play balance, direct passing 46 for width, and then six for players in the box. Corners and uh, free kicks is uh, completely down to the person. I always put one because I do not like conceding counterattacks. Um, let me just switch a couple of things here and there. This is just the review account of me having like different types of cards and whatnot, but I will talk about the types of players uh, that you're gonna want in each position, right? Because some of these guys are a little bit off in regards to positioning, right? Uh, because cards, when they're best utilized a certain way, those are the types of cards you should get. Okay, so the instructions on the team, for me, I always put comes for cross, a sweeper keeper for the goalkeepers, works out really well, right? The fullbacks that are actually going to be on join the attack inverted. They're not going to be on overlap. It's about focusing uh, the middle part of the play as much as possible because of the instruction for your lamb and your ram, which you guys will be seeing. Uh, so full fullbacks, both of them join the attack inverted. Now, your more defensive oriented CDM is going to be on drop between defenders and cover center. OK, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Drop between defenders, cover center, and then your more attacking oriented card, you're going to just keep on cover center. Now, something that you notice a lot when you're using these two instructions is that when someone goes on the counter attack against you, especially if you are using very good players in those positions, Tanali, a Yaya Torre, I was using Palinga on my account and Palinga's, you know, I always talk about Palinga. Um, if you guys still have that Patrick Vieira card, it's a really helpful instruction to have because what I notice is that they don't drop between defenders the way that you think they do, right? So when the person goes on the counterattack against you, I noticed in game that that person in that position aggressively pushes forward when the person's going to go on the counterattack against you. It's actually a really interesting way of basically like surprising them. I have a midfielder here to defend against you. You know, like it happens uh, on a lot of occasions. I noticed it a lot when I was playing on one of my homies accounts doing some player reviews um, and he had Jude Bellingham, which obviously is a full meta card. And I he still had the blue Yaya Torre, which would still hold up nowadays. He's a fantastic card as well. And I was using Yaya Torre in that role. And on a consistent basis, I kept noticing when the person's about to go on the counter attack, that aggressive push forward and then like kind of it's like a combination of aggressive push forward and then he starts to kind of linger in the midfield position again, which I feel like is actually really nice for the balance of how this formation plays because it's acting against what the fullbacks are on because of the join the attack inverted instructions. So it's really, really interesting the way that that works. Um, the CDM on cover center. If you have players that are really good at attacking, then that's going to be great to have. If they're not, and they're just like a balanced player, like I was using Park Ji Sung there, and I didn't score too many goals with him, but he's a really well-balanced player to push forward, come back. Having that extra bit of attack in those situations on a high, high work rate, obviously fantastic to work with. Your cam is on stay forward, get into the box of the cross. Your lamb and your ram are on get into the box across drift wide. OK, so the drift wide part is a very interesting thing on this formation, because when they drift wide, don't think that they consistently stay wide. They actually drift wide and then cut back inside because the game, it really forces middle play. Right. And because the positions of the left attacking men and right attacking men are the way that they are, they will by default push back into the middle anyways. And you'll notice on a consistent basis from the um, highlights of them pushing out wide and then them going back into the middle, right? And it's really interesting the way that it works, the CDM kind of offering that extra support through the middle. And your striker is on stay central, getting behind, stay forward. 
There are moments where the stay central getting behind part of the card is not great, right? There's actually moments where it could be ideal for you to not force the get in behind, depending on the types of players you have. Like if you have Mbappe, the Koreas that have fantastic attacking AI. The reason why I'm saying this is because sometimes for this game, the attacking AI doesn't make sense, right? Like you'll be attacking against a park the bus and they will just make a run that just, it's not even to open up space for other people. They're just making a run to make a run. Like it happens sometimes, right? So sometimes you may want to switch off of that. A lot of the times though, again, behind is definitely going to be the most balanced for it, right? So um, yeah, it's definitely a very interesting formation. I've been enjoying this one the most. 4-2-3-1 for me personally is the only real formation that I could personally use because I need the two CDMs because of how defensive this game is. I need the cam to build up my team, but I also need a formation that allows me to play and actually break down someone's defense a certain way and actually score some pretty cool goals. So um, that's why I personally like the 4-2-3-1. Other formations can definitely be meta, but they're just kind of like boring to use because they feel too like FIFA and not like, hey, let me do like an actual breakdown. But it's hard to do that in this game, obviously. But um, yeah, that's going to be the instructions. That's going to be the tactics. It's a really good formation. Again, be sure to check out the original tweet. Um, if you guys ever have any other tactics that you guys would like me to try out, uh, whenever I have the time to, to get some foot champs highlights for you guys, just let me know. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the highlights in regards to how this formation uh, played out. Uh, it played out really nicely. Uh, but before I do say anything about that, make sure I tell you guys this every tactic video, right? Your back four is as full meta as possible. Okay full meta, uh, have players that are both good at attacking and defending in the fullback position, have your more defensive oriented card on the drop between defenders. You can use anybody in the other position as long as they have some defensive capabilities. Your cam, you want to try to have players that have fantastic attacking AI. If you still use Bernardo Silva nowadays, honestly, he's still amazing. That card just knows how to move in that position, right? Um, some other cards that I've used in the cam position, I can't really think of the top of my head for some reason, but like Bernardo Silva is a very good example of someone that moves properly within that position. Um, yeah, uh, obviously in the side positions, I'm using like Ben Yedder and Gomez and stuff, but obviously you, if you wanted to do this for the balance, you could totally do that. But obviously Ben Yedder is more of a striker. Um, but then if I use him as a striker, I'm wasting Kylian Mbappe in the side position. So it just depends on the format of your team, right? Uh, but if you have a Ben Yedder, in your team as of right now and you have them on that instruction it would be perfectly fine to work with you would just have to work with running animation not being as fast like i mentioned to you guys in the review because mbappe is different he has that unique body type that kind of like just pushes him to make those crazy runs right but um yeah the side position players you can honestly use a lot of different players man you can use players that are medium medium uh you can players that you could use players that are originally in left mid right mid right wing left wing positions that can be basically moved into those areas right so it's really good uh strikers again try to have good attacking as much as possible players that can actually dribble because when you have physical type strikers up top it's possible to use but harder because they need to be able to pass the ball off to someone in the striker position for them to kind of work to the best of their capability capabilities in my opinion um so try to have a player that can actually move with the ball at his feet okay so hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys Yes, there it is. Work that near post angle. I'll take that. All done. Starting off hot. Good goal. Well done. Nice. Well done. Well done. What the heck? Gameplay is good? That's so weird. It's never good during the daytime, guys. Oh, what a goal. That was nuts. Good stuff, boys. 
Ah, oh, the FIFA mechanics. The FIFA mechanics. Nice goal. Nicely done. Nice. Good goal, boys. Good goal. I like it. Bro, why is the gameplay good right now? What? Yo, this game feels fun right now. Like, oh my goodness. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Yeah, that sway on him is weird, man. He does have that sway on him. That needs to be improved uh, if he gets the upgrade. It's like an overcommitment like crazy. It's really strange. Oh, beauty. Oh my goodness, the gameplay is fast right now. Guys, I just had three gameplays in a row that have good gameplay during the daytime. This is the first time in like years, more than one game. Like sometimes I got lucky. I'm like, oh, one game, a good gameplay. Bro, it's really nice right now. I'll tell you guys this for free. Next to Serge Ramos, this card is nothing. Nice goal, Mane. Let's go. Nice goal. Let's go, boys. Nice, posting in too. Well, on the cusp of the halftime interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. Nice goal. Let's wait for that little space right there to open up, you know? Oh, Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe, you are built different, my G. You are so built different. It's insane. Oh, dude. It's Is this, uh, th is this the Mbappe review? <laughs> is this the Mbappe review? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's go, boys. This is what I like to see. Yes, there it is. Work that near post angle. Beautiful goal. Let's go, boys. Beautiful, Di Natale. Love that goal. And return to Mbappe. Park. On to 
Nice. Let's go, Di Natale. Quick little fake shot, get into the shooting area. Good goal. Yeah, I have to do that skill move to get best past the goalkeeper there. There you go. Small little movements. Small little movements. Get an L1 touch. Finish with the left foot. Go. Go, Jota. There you go. Hakimi returns to Mbappe and is through here. Yeah, just have to work that small little angle there for the shot. It's so much possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Oh, hang on, Stuart, big chance. Yep. Little tap shot for the near post. Good stuff, good stuff. Beautiful chip shot. Beautiful, beautiful chip shot. That deserved a goal. Uh, you know what? I like that it palmed it back to me, honestly. Nicely done again. Love it. You hacking, have fun. I don't know what that means. With a ban. This guy for sure, like, blocked right afterwards. <laughs> He's not messaging anymore. Report, report. You hacking, have fun. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, like, the gameplay, like I said, was horrible. So, I'm, I've been complaining about it all day today. Yesterday, you don't hear me complain about it, except from kickoff, I can tell it's good. But it's because people don't know the difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. 15 minutes left for play. Can he put them in front? Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Killian Mbappe. Oh, big opportunity. I'll take that. Oh, Mbappe is just built different, bro. Mbappe is just built different. He's built different, man. He's built different. Well, a joy to watch. Can he do it? Half shot. Oh, I thought he missed. Oh, I thought he missed, dude. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. 